Hello and welcome to Strat News Global. Earlier this week, the Cabinet Committee on Security cleared uh, one of the most awaited military programs, the development and design as well as manufacturing of an advanced medium combat jet for the Indian Air Force. Sanctioned on 7th of March, what will AMCA, as it is called uh, in an abbreviated form, bring to the table as far as the Indian Air Force and its strength is concerned is something that I am going to try and attempt to unravel or simplify in this episode of Simply Nitin. I am Nitin Gokhale. So the quest for India's advanced combat jet has been on for almost a decade plus where India had anticipated that once it acquires uh, the uh, jets from uh, the program called the MMRCA or the multi-role, uh, medium multi-role combat aircraft that were supposed to be acquired from one of the big OEMs, uh, original equipment manufacturers. Of course, India ended up uh, buying only 36 Rafales from France in 2015-16 uh, and they have of course been inducted into the Indian Air Force relatively strengthening its combat fleet uh, strength really. But apart from what India is doing indigenously, it also needs uh, a futuristic aircraft, almost a fifth generation or a 4.5 plus generation aircraft. And that's why AMCA was planned, AMCA was conceptualized. Of course, uh, design flaws were there, there were a lot of to and fro about the design. But finally, that quest seems to have got off the ground because the Cabinet Committee on Security, as I mentioned, has uh, already um, sanctioned the program. It's a long-term program, almost 10 to 15 years of gestation period. But we will get there a little later. But what is a medium combat jet? Now, there are uh, light combat jets or light combat aircraft like uh, India's own Tejas Mark 1, I, Mark 1A, which is under production right now. Uh, according to some of the definition in military aviation, as understood in India primarily, the uh, definition of a medium combat jet or a light combat jet depends on the weight and size of the jet. So fighters in this category are about uh, 20 to 25 tons uh, to be called medium jets or medium combat jets. Uh, MiG-21s, uh, which were the mainstay of uh, Indian Air Force for a long time, from the uh, uh, mid 60s till uh, very recently used to be about 16 to 18 tons not completely light not completely medium the mig 29s uh, had heavier uh, weight than mig 21s of course the rafale which is the latest induction in the indian air force is about 24 tons uh, and uh, the su 30s are the heaviest aircraft combat jets that indian air force has and they weigh about 32, between 30 and 38 tons depending on what kind of payload, what kind of weaponry uh, they are carrying as far as uh, the uh, flying conditions are concerned. Light combat aircraft Tejas uh, in all its variants, Mark 1, Mark 1A and uh, they are about 7 to 9 tons, very light, very maneuverable but the numbers are larger when it comes to induction. The AMCA or the Advanced Medium Combat aircraft will be uh, almost equivalent to Rafale, 24 tons, 24 to 25 tons is what the plan is and therefore it is called the medium combat jet. That's only about the uh, weight itself and the aeronautical development agency which is entrusted with design and development of AMCA in conjunction with of course the Indian Air Force and um, HAL as the manufacturer or the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited as the manufacturer has described AMCA as a medium weight multi-role fifth generation aircraft. We will come to that why it is advanced than the current aircraft in Indian Air Force's inventory and why uh, it will be a game changer a decade or decade and a half down the line. It will be different from the current lot of aircraft that Indian Air Force operates variously because uh, many people have called it and mistakenly as uh, Indian Air Force uh, officers and Indian Air Force uh, people who handle the project say it is not exactly fully stealth. It can be called low observable platform in all respects. 
and when I say all respects, it will have reduced uh, RCS, uh, of course reduced uh, infrared signature and oral that is the audio signature of uh, the aircraft will be much reduced because of various techniques, various uh, designs that it will have. And why will it be? It is not fully st uh, stealth because its exhaust or its engine is not shielded by uh, the uh, advanced material which uh, sort of creates the uh, non-stealth uh, uh, and uh, creates the stealth effect as far as the uh, aircraft is concerned. In the world today, as of now, only uh, the F-22 uh, and the B-2 of uh, in the US Air Force and possibly, I mean now this is again a matter of debate, Su-57, uh, the Russians claim to be uh, truly stealth, but there is a uh, school of thought that it is not fully stealth because it does not have the exhaust uh, shielded by stealth material. Nevertheless, uh, the US is uh, way ahead of the other countries. Uh, the Chinese might claim uh, their J JF-20 uh, may be stealth, but we are not getting there because we do not know uh, how much authentic information comes out from China. AMCA's airframe and uh, the shape of the airframe and the facets of the airframe and the use of uh, radar absorbent materials or RAM will actually make uh, detection difficult. And that is what uh, every Air Force wants. It wants little more time uh, to uh, come out of a combat before being detected. Now, uh, the low observable platform uh, when we talk about it is that extra time that the aircraft will get. It's Anyway, stealth uh, is a, uh, not a panacea as uh, military aviators will tell you that it can no aircraft can be fully uh, invisible or uh, unobservable. So, the idea is to reduce or increase time before it is detected, the, uh, the, the time lapse between being detected and coming out of that combat zone is what will make uh, AMCA uh, truly uh, game changer as far as Indian Air Force is concerned because they are now looking at its design and its shape to be uh, sort of covered by the, rad uh, the radar absorbent materials and also the aerodynamics of the airframe is designed in such a way that radar waves will slip off and not uh, reflect back to the radar itself but will uh, get deflected somewhere else. So, th those are technical terms and technical issues that have been tackled by the designers and developers of AMCA. But uh, it brings many more features and therefore, I am asking this question and trying to uh, answer those uh, that question. What is so advanced in the advanced medium combat? aircraft that India is now designing. It will have uh, enhanced sensor fusion platforms. I mean the platform itself will be fully sensor fused. That means on one place, in one place, in one um, dashboard, all your sensors will be fused. They will uh, work faster, they will respond faster. Uh, unlike uh, in the fourth generation or a four and a half generation aircraft, uh, the work material will be much more advanced uh, than it has been in any of the aircraft uh, because of uh, the uh, availability of uh, different uh, communication technology, different uh, sensor technology, different observation technology. So, the advanced communication systems that will be uh, inducted or uh, placed on the uh, AMCA will uh, allow a low probability of interception of communication. Because if you have everything else which is near stealth, but your communication is open to be, to be interpreted, then there is no use of an uh, advanced combat jet. Therefore, this, is, this aspect is being given a lot of attention in the AMCA itself. Similarly, the mission computer on the aircraft will have edge computing capability, uh, which will mean that uh, the pilots will uh, have uh, faster uh, availability of situational awareness in the in the sky during combat or otherwise and uh, the uh, decision making will be much faster because it is all available in a split second uh, because of the uh, high performance uh, mission computer that will be uh, installed on board AMCA. Similarly, uh, that means that really means is uh, the pilot does not have to look at three or four inputs 
on uh, radar, your own radar, your missiles, your incoming aircraft, nothing. Everything will be uh, computed by the mission computer, which is uh, way faster than what is available today, which will be way faster than what, what is available today. And therefore, the distillation of that information, of various inputs, will give one concrete or comprehensive picture to the pilots. And therefore, uh, they will have uh, faster decision-making ability is what the designers are hoping. Um, and the greatest feature which uh, perhaps allows uh, AMCAR to be called a real advanced jet is that unlike uh, the current combat jets or fighter jets, it has the design uh, element which can be scaled up or upgraded. So it's a, uh, you can call it the building blocks are there. Uh, having done uh, Mark 1, AMCAR Mark 1 in the first phase, the uh, Mark II with another engine can be uh, also developed and designed and manufactured is what the uh, makers and, and the, uh, the system engineers are telling uh, the government and therefore that makes AMCA a real advanced jet going forward whenever it's uh, implemented or whenever it uh, sees the light of day. The uh, ADA of course will uh, develop uh, the five uh, initial prototypes which, which could be called AMCA Mark I. Uh, the cost of the project sanctioned by the CCS uh, today is just about uh, INR or Indian rupees 15,000 crores. But they have been told, the Air Force and ADA and uh, the HAL, everybody has been told that whenever more money is required, it, is, it will be made available by the government. So on that front, at least there is no worry uh, as far as MCA's development, faster development is concerned. Uh, it, the actual production by HAL, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, may not, become, may not begin at least uh, a decade from now uh, before it is fully developed. But we'll have to wait and watch how it goes. Because the tight deadlines sometimes uh, have been described as the AMCA has been delayed and it will uh, have real problems. But because of the past 30 years of experience on the light combat aircraft, Mark 1, Mark 1A and in the next few years Mark 2. This Mark 2, LCA Mark 2 is going to work as a transition platform between LCA Mark 1 variant, all the variants that LCA Mark 1 has and AMCA. Which what, what does it mean? It means all the designers, engineers, users, tier 1 and tier 2 suppliers have learned lessons from their experiment and their uh, building the LCA Mark 1A or Mark 1 uh, and then uh, subsequently Mark 2. That will reduce the uh, timelines considerably because the experience that they have gained there, those mistakes that were made during LCS uh, building, or LCS manufacturing will not be repeated during AMCA and therefore the timelines can be squeezed and tighter timelines and deadlines can be met. Currently, uh, the AMCA is going to be run on the 90 kilonewton G F414 engine. It is designed based on that engine, but the Mark II or the next upgraded AMCA, uh, its engine is uh, decision is up in the air. Uh, the Mark II aspires to have a 100 kilonewton, 110 kilonewton engine, which uh, still doesn't exist in the world uh, in that sense. And therefore, uh, for making that uh, 110 kilonewton engine, there are three competitors: Safran from France. G uh, from US, which is of course this uh, supplying the F414 engine and Rolls-Royce from UK are competing uh, to make an engine jointly and India is determined to have a joint IP or a uh, you know, engine which has the intellectual property right with India so that it doesn't have to depend on any other country going forward. That's the plan. How will it benefit Indian aviation sector? Of course, uh, the spin-offs are huge because the kind of technology that is going to be inducted on the AMCA, uh, it will have uh, spin-offs for both defense and civilian sectors in terms of uh, the equipment used, the radars, the avionics, the, um, the, the sensors and of course uh, the materials, advanced materials that are being used. LCA's journey in that way uh, is actually coming to fruition now. The kind of uh, tortuous journey that LCA had is actually uh, allowed designers and uh, developers, industry and the Indian Air Force to learn from those mistakes and not repeat those mistakes so that 
the experience has been distilled into something which is concrete and which can be improved upon and developed uh, further when the MK is being built. So as I said, lessons distilled over a quarter century and more will actually allow India to leapfrog from MK Mark I or MK to the sixth generation fighter, maybe uh, 20 years down the line in the future. Because spiral development has been only uh, possible uh, way to develop uh, effective fighter jets or even jets uh, in the world. Any other country, only three countries have what is called low observable uh, fighter jets or what popularly has been known as stealth fighter jets or the ability to have uh, the medium combat stealth fighter jets, US, China and Russia. And uh, once India gets there, uh, it has the ability, as I said, to upgrade itself. AI, artificial intelligence will play a big part in the next decade where uh, mission computing uh, and also uh, the uh, efficiency and the technology will be so good that sometimes some of the aircraft can be unmanned and therefore the pilots will have a huge help and the uh, Air Force is looking at something called MUM-T. Now I was very surprised when somebody used that term so I asked for an explanation or at least elaboration of that uh, term and I am told it's called man unmanned teams. That means some aircraft can be manned of course with two pilots like the AMCA and some aircraft uh, which can be unmanned and can work in tandem uh, for a mission, for a particular mission. Sometimes only the unmanned will go ahead and the manned will follow. Sometimes they will combine their strengths and abilities together. And of course, uh, the model to be considered for future warfare is what the Air Force is looking at. So, AMCA eventually and my final point here is has to be treated like a national strategic project where all of government approach, uh, all of industry approach, all of uh, Air Force approach has to come in where everyone combines their strengths, combines their vision, combines their skills, capability, adaptability into making this a successful project because the spin-offs like I have said are huge and if India can get this right over the next 10 to 15 years then it comes into the League of Nations which very few of them can produce a combat jet worth calling fifth generation which again will lead to the sixth generation and therefore the AMCA deserves all the backing it has it is not delayed if you heard from different people that it is a delayed project unlike LCA AMCA is on track because as I said I explained that the learning experience has meant the timelines can be squeezed so let's hope and let's back it as people, as citizens that the AMCA will be truly a national project and a project that will change the face of Indian aviation which was so far dependent on imports and borrowed technology. That being said, I think uh, the Indian Air Force needs faster induction of uh, fighter jets. It's got all other platforms uh, well in place but the fighter jets are a worry, depleting strengths of fighter jets. MCA will of course come, as I said, after 15 years or so uh, to really be effective and to be called uh, an Indian Air Force uh, fighter. But till then, let's hope this project takes off and uh, whatever one can do to support it, we all must do it. That's all I have this week. I thought this is a very topical subject and all of you will be interested. Therefore, this, I am not an uh, aviation expert, I am not a military aviation uh, expert either. So, therefore, if some of these uh, details have come, they have come from uh, talking to different people, they have given those things, maybe I didn't understand many of it, but do uh, take the overall uh, picture of what I have uh, presented to you and of course keep sending your feedback and your comments, they are very essential to us to learn and uh, improve and of course your um, social media subscription to our handles and our YouTube channel is also important, so keep us going by supporting us and of course we will bring you more and more such informative at least uh, information derived from experts episodes on Simply Nitin which comes to you every Saturday. Until the next time, it's goodbye.